Imagine sitting outside on a warm day, sipping on refreshing water, or biting into a juicy piece of fruit, only to realize you're consuming so many toxins and microplastics. Sounds alarming, right? The good news is that even though we live in a world filled with microplastics and toxins, there are simple steps you can take every day to avoid having these microplastics and toxins harm your body. Welcome back to Beyond Symptoms. I'm your host, Dr. Shivani Amin, and on this episode, we will discuss how microplastics and toxins are actually affecting and harming our bodies and three simple steps that you can take today to avoid having microplastics cause chronic conditions and illness. Before we dive into solutions to keep microplastics and toxins away from our body, let's talk about what microplastics, being a type of toxin, are. So microplastics are very tiny. They're less than five millimeters in size, and they are tiny plastic particles that can originate from the breakdown of larger plastic items or from microbeads in personal care products or household items. These particles are very alarming because they can sneak into our food, water, or even the air that we breathe. Microplastics as toxins, one of the biggest things that they do is they poison the enzymes in our body. Our bodies are enzymatic engines, as I like to say, and enzymes are crucial for numerous bodily functions. One really important thing that enzymes do is the production of hemoglobin. And hemoglobin carries oxygen to every part of our body, our organs, and throughout our body. So it's very, very crucial. And when toxins like microplastics get into our body, they inhibit this enzymatic function, which results in free radical damage and it accelerates aging. Whenever we're exposed to large, large amounts of microplastics or toxins, it affects our ability to remain in high vitality and it accelerates our aging process, which as females, we really, really don't like because it shows on our external face. It just speeds up the aging process overall. Toxins also, microplastics, another thing that they do is they deplete us of essential minerals. We all know minerals are super, super important and our body needs minerals for energy. Without these minerals, our energy production is compromised and that leads to overall diminished vitality and it causes you to feel fatigued throughout the day. Moreover, toxins can also damage our organs, degrade DNA, modify gene expression, and even damage cell membranes which are all vital for protecting and maintaining the integrity of our cells. One of the most concerning effects of toxins, like microplastics and overexposure to microplastics on a consistent basis, is their ability to interfere with our hormones, which is really important for females, not only when we're younger, but as we age. They can disrupt, particularly thyroid hormone, by disrupting the thyroid hormone receptors on cells. This causes us to feel extremely fatigued. It leads to symptoms such as weight gain and mood swings, which a lot of females, as we get older, a lot of us experience these symptoms. So it's important to really take into account where we're being exposed to microplastics and toxins on a daily basis. Additionally, microplastics hinder our ability to naturally detoxify, right? When our detox pathways are hindered and they're impaired, Toxins start to accumulate in the body, leading to a vicious cycle where the body becomes increasingly burdened and less capable of effectively eliminating these harmful substances from our body. Microplastics are more than just tiny particles and they're more than just a type of potent toxin. They really cause harm to our health and well-being if we're exposed to it on a consistent basis by poisoning our enzymes, degrading and damaging our DNA, displacing and depleting us of minerals, interfering with our hormones and our natural detoxification process, microplastics pose a severe threat to our overall well-being. The good news is there are simple steps that you can take every day. You may not be able to avoid microplastics completely, 
But there are things that you can do every day, simple things you can do to really start to help your body out in terms of, you know, if you are exposed to the microplastics, not allowing them to completely harm your body. Three simple ways you can avoid microplastics and keep them from harming your body. First up, let's talk about water. We all know water is life, but unfortunately, it can also be a source of microplastics. So there is a solution for this. You can choose to invest in a high-quality water filter, such as a reverse osmosis water filter. These filter systems are designed to remove even the tiniest particles from your water, ensuring that your water is as pure as possible. However, it's important to note that when you use a reverse osmosis water filtration system, you can also strip your water of essential minerals. And again, we all know I'm a big proponent of getting your minerals checked because minerals are involved in every part of your body. You need minerals literally to make energy and to help your cells overall and even your organs. If you're using a reverse osmosis water filtration system, make sure to stay properly hydrated with minerals in general. So you can supplement with it. There are even trace mineral drops or mineral packets that you can put into your water to make sure that you're staying properly hydrated. Another great option when it comes to water to avoid microplastics and toxins getting into your body is to find a natural spring water place. Spring water is often free from contaminants and rich in minerals. So this is probably my favorite source of water is spring water. You can look for reputable brands at the grocery store or at your local water store, wherever you're living, or you can go online and you can find websites like findaspring.com, which can help you locate the nearest spring to you. Next up, ladies, let's talk about one of our favorite topics, wardrobes. A lot of synthetic fabrics like polyester and nylon, unfortunately, shed microplastics when they're washed. And that can end up in our water supply. And so one surprising culprit of this is your yoga pants and your yoga wear. I know a lot of us, we like to go to the gym, we like to work out. And because our yoga pants and our yoga wear are so comfortable, We like to leisurely wear those around the house or throughout the day. Unfortunately, studies have found that yoga pants in particular, especially those made from synthetic materials, can cause and release harmful toxins such as BPA and other microplastics and toxins into your system, which really harm our health. And opting for clothing and textiles made from more natural fibers such as cotton, wool, or linen are more beneficial to our skin and our health overall. They are not only beneficial for our health and our skin, but they also are better for our environment, right? And so who doesn't want that? It's really important to be mindful of the things that not only are we eating, but that we're putting onto our bodies so that we can stay healthier overall. Choosing natural fibers isn't just good for the planet and a healthier choice for you. Natural fabrics are breathable. They're less likely to cause skin irritation and they don't release those microplastics into the environment when washed. So the next time you're out shopping for yoga wear, just be mindful of this and choose to go for organic and more natural like the cotton, the wool, and the linen. Lastly, let's ditch those microbeads. Microbeads are found in a lot of personal care products, such as your exfoliating scrubs that you may use in the bath or shower, as well as your toothpaste. These microbeads are very harmful not only to our bodies, but as well as the environment. The tiny beads can sip into our water treatment plants. They'll end up in our oceans, harming marine life and our environment, which is not good, not only for us, but Also, the animals that are living in these environments are in the ocean. So when you're looking for exfoliates or toothpaste, opt to look for more natural ingredients. Read the labels, right? If the label says something like polyethylene or polypropylene, then you automatically know those are red flags. Usually when you can't pronounce something when you're reading labels, most likely it's something that's going to be very harmful not only to your body, but the environment. 
So make sure get into the habit of reading labels and opt for more natural ingredients. Switching to natural ingredients is a win-win situation, not only for your skin, but also the planet. So look for things such as raw sugar when you're looking for exfoliant scrubs, coffee, salt, or oatmeal, things that you can pronounce and that you know what they are. When you read the labels and you see these natural ingredients, these natural exfoliants, they're effective at removing not only dead skin, but they help promote circulation throughout your body and they prevent harmful plastic substances from being introduced into the environment. The natural ingredients and exfoliants often contain beneficial properties for your skin, making them a holistic choice for your skincare routine and your body. And there you have it, three simple steps you can take today to help you avoid ingesting microplastics and toxins. By filtering your water, by choosing more natural fibers and fabrics in your wardrobe, and by avoiding microbeaded products, you can significantly reduce your exposure and protect your health and well-being. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Beyond Symptoms, your journey towards a cleaner and healthier lifestyle. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to subscribe, leave a review, and share with your friends. Until next time, stay healthy, stay informed, and keep living your best life. Thank you.